Thanks for staying with us. So the federal government says it is addressing power deficit by using alternative energy sources such as windfall, solar, and all sorts. Today, we'll beam a spotlight a bit on the, play, on the plan to use renewable energy to power the nation for optimal growth, as well as looking at how businesses can thrive using these means. Joining us now to discuss is Olari Waju Ogunkunle. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So I know that renewable energy is energy that is derived from natural resources yes, and can actually generate faster than it's consumed. Yeah. Um, and some of them are solar um, Wind. and Wind. Different, different, different options out there. Mm. But in your view, I know you're a private person, you're not working for government, yes, but sir. in your view, how, how possible is it for a government to rely solely, is it possible to rely solely on renewable energy versus the uh, fossil fuels that we're using? On, that we're yes, using um, it's, it's very possible. And a lot of governments all around the world are waking up to that reality that fossil fuel is not sustainable. And at some point, with the war going on and different Middle East crisis, cost of fuel is not stable, especially for eating in those climate regions. And Nigeria is also waking up to their reality. We all know, have an idea of the subsidy removal, the impact it has caused to cost of running homes and businesses. So yes, renewable energy is the proper kind of power that can power homes and businesses in Nigeria. Yeah, so um, I'm worried about um, this conversation, not because it's not good. Okay. As some of us have already ported to that yes. as an alternative source of oh. you know, energy because of what's going on. But the fact that uh, for now it's still very capital intensive, mm -hmm. especially if you run a large household. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you think Nigerians can begin to do a shift if the government is not involved in providing it on a larger scale mm -hmm. so that they can find a way to get it in for and make it cheaper homes. for individual homes as I as against them um, individual people mm -hmm. purchasing yes yeah. to get this themselves all right uh, so a lot of people have that concept that okay renewable energy is expensive but uh, it's, it's a perspective issue all right, so for example, it's easier for someone to say that a cup of rice is, let's say, 10 naira, mm. but a bag of rice is 1,000 naira. So an average mind immediately hears 1,000 naira, 1,000 naira is expensive. But when you ask yourself the question again, how many cups of rice is in that bag. will I get from a bag? Mm. Then you discover that that 1,000 naira bag of rice is way cheaper. Mm. And people that have woken up to that idea, a lot of people have tried new energy, and sincerely they spent money and it still didn't work wrong choice of combination, wrong choice of battery, wrong choice of solar panels. And this thing has to be com configured to your lifestyle. Mm. If I'm out of the house all day and I only come home at night, I wouldn't go for any casting book kind of uh, renewable energy solution like two panels, two battery, this inverter. I should be able to make sure that I spend more money on battery for storage mm. than generation oh. because Everybody will just say that, oh, we have this package, 5 kVA, 6 panels, 2 battery, this inverter. But that can't work for everybody. Mm. But if I'm working from home, most likely most of my power usage will be during the day. Yeah. So I should spend more money on generation than and storage. Not storage wow. So these are the basic issues that are there in the market that has made people feel like, oh, I just spent 2 million on solar. I will never try it again. After two years, the battery packed up. After six months, and they tell me I will change the battery. And in some configurations, if one battery is bad, you oh, replace the, batteries, the entire yeah, battery batteries. before you can. So those are the challenges that make people perceive that it's expensive. But when you make the right choice, the right kind of chemistry of battery, the right choice of solar panels, it's one of the cheapest things you can ever invest in. Okay, so I know that there are different types. I know you have the solar, you have the wind. As an expert, which um, do you advise people to go for? Which do you think is the best? So um, wind usually works best in open space if I have a large farmland. I have like six acres, it's open, there's less risk because you know, when you are going higher, there's a risk of fall and all those other issues that can apply up to the structure you are building to generate power from wind. But the one that can really readily be accessible to any business, any home now, is the solar panels. Mm. And for example, they are cheaper and easier to maintain. You can easily go to the street and find someone to install solar panels. But when you say you need someone to install a windmill in your house, then the conversation will change. Mm. Because you'll be talking of masts, and you are not a telecoms person, so it's, yeah. it's, cap it's even way more capital intensive. intensive. But the one that's easily accessible in this country that government is also actually actively working on subsidizing is the solar systems. Mm -hmm. 
So we will always this and our son is hot. Too, so son is hot if you are out during the day, the same son across the world. No, so the, the angle of, of the our position earth. on yeah. earth yeah. allows us to have a lot of sunshine. Okay, okay, that's so, why we don't have too much long days and short days yeah, and all those stuff. issues. Okay, so in my estate, there was a time we were trying to power our uh, water plants mm. and we didn't have anywhere to put the solar panels. So in a situation like that, where can we put, what do you think can be done where they can put the solar panels? So that's one of the major concerns, drawback to solar panels. You need the space. Mm. If, you are, if you have an office that is 24 floors and your total roof size is just maybe 50 square meters, you can't use 50 square meters to power the oil ACs of 24 floors, so the ratio wouldn't really work. Mm. So solar panels might not be the perfect thing, but in your estates where you don't have enough space for solar panels, that doesn't mean that rim energy is completely ruled out. You can invest in high quality batteries. There are some lithium batteries that power heavy duty systems, like 100 kV, 300 kV, massive batteries. And when that kind of battery comes in, instead of running generator to power that same plant for six hours, you have situations where you just run generator for two hours, the battery is charged, the battery continues the process for like another four or five hours back up. So even your generator will have to take a break, mm. last longer, and your diesel consumption to power those kind of generators also drop. So you can still tap into that system, even if you don't have enough storage or enough space for solar panels to run such systems. I'd like to go back to what you said earlier, because okay. all of us, that, those of us that are in Bandi, Mm -hmm. looking for options. Yes, like yes. Desperately looking for options. But mm. husband, when he got the bill yesterday, he said, ah, thank God, one thirty. I can manage this one, but I need to think of a long term, which mm. is solar panels. He's already thinking, of how do I invest mm -hmm. in solar panels? Mm. But how can we do it on a bigger scale? Because right now, she said, it's expensive. It is. Mm. So what do you, do, you, do you, again, let me go back to the question I was asking earlier. What can government do? Can, can solar panel actually help sustain a whole state? Because now it's, there's no more on the exclusive list. Mm -hmm. Everybody can now generate power yeah, on in power. the yeah. states. Mm -hmm. So governors can actually use this initiative. How effective would it be for a state to adopt this renewable source mm -hmm. for, for, for power? Either yes. the solar or the windmill, wind. whichever one yeah. will work yes. for the state. A lot of states are working on I think Lagos is also working on something like that. Okay. The only downside to that is that it will take more time because when you generate bulk power in a space, you have to spend money to transmit that power mm -hmm. so from where it is to the last mile. Transmission. Wow. And transmission is another major problem we have in our power sector. We all know that. Mm -hmm. So, but the quick win that is possible is to try to find ways to help individual businesses and homes so that each time they are on the solar system, their pressure on the grid has reduced. Mm -hmm. So, for example, now I tell people that it's easier for you to walk up to your bank and say, I, I, this, I earn this type of salary, this is my salary range, and I'm trying to buy this type of car, I need financing. Mm -hmm. The bank will understand you easily. But when working and say, I want to get financing for my solar system, only few banks understand that. Mm -hmm. But an investment in the solar system will yield more in terms of quality of life and quality of business than even a car. A car will depreciate, you will service it, and all of those things. And you know, most times, solar systems are also around that cost price. Mm -hmm. so, what government can do is to make sure that sensitization, people can be aware of these opportunities and also find ways to subsidize it for people. And then they can open up loans. Yeah. Yes, yeah. loans, yes, people. loans, so that yeah. there can be policies yeah. that these financial institutions can follow mm. and know that, yes, this is another viable way. Yeah. And it's usually more guaranteed to get their money back from power than from vehicles and other kind of financing that they could have been doing before now. So, you know, part of the problems we have, that we have with fossil is global warming, global warming, global warming. Mm -hmm. How will renewable energy sources help with the global warming? Do you think it's going to help? Yes, it will help. Uh, for example, we have several offices around the country, especially in Lagos, at least about three offices that have been off the grid for a while. Mm -hmm. And to the extent that yesterday we even tried to use, we used our solar panels for our office to power an entire event. Okay. full tents with the ACs, with the lights, because a lot of people couldn't believe that solar can really do that. When we're saying that, okay, our offices are powered, the smallest office has at least about 25 air conditioners. Your Minus, office? Yes, mm -hmm. the and smallest of them. And they've been solar powered. There's another one that never in has it. In this country, it has wow. no connection to the grid. Wow. Not one little. You're diesel. kidding. I need yes, to take your number. Yes, this is what we've been doing for like <laughs> six, seven years. Wow. You're kidding. So we've been doing it That's for ourselves. 
for years before we start wow. talk, talking to people, tested this, that yes, this thing really works. Really? So when we were trying to power an event and they said, where's the generator? I said, no, there's no we generator. generator. The organizers were like, are you, are you okay. all right? Are you okay? <laughs> so what if? I said, no, no what ifs. Mm. This is what we've been using for years. Mm. Not one liter of diesel will enter this business. Mm. And that's how it works. So, My husband needs to meet you. Because you need <laughs> to like, ah, so ah, it's, ah, it's, it's, it's really works. It really wow. works. That's interesting. The, wrong, the right choice of equipment will always deliver that. And these are equipment that can last 10 years, 15 mm. years. So imagine if you're saying it's expensive, how much will you pay for power in the next 10 years? Mm. With uncertainty, you don't know what this will become tomorrow. Mm. You know what petrol will come to, And you are saying that this thing I bought now. Mm. Will last me for 10 well, can years. I, can, are you also telling me now that there are some batteries you will buy that it's forever? No, I'm changing batteries. What are the warranties and guarantees? Yes, so there are some batteries you will buy that they will tell you if anything happens to this battery within 10 years, mm. we'll replace it for free. But okay. well, can I ask you a question? Is it, is, are we being selfish? Let me tell you why. Mm. Because the truth is mm. that we're thinking of me, myself, and I. Mm. And I think that's, that, that's part of the Nigerian problem. Okay. The country is telling us that. They need liquidity mm. in the past sector. They need money. Mm -hmm. The reason why there's a bandeba band and what is because mm -hmm. they want money people to pay. Mm -hmm. Now you are telling us renewable energy. Mm -hmm. So if I go and invest in solar now, I won't give a labu money. I mean, I won't give the uh, uh, discos because they need the liquidity. Because yes. the only way you in band you are going to fix the infrastructure mm -hmm. in the Nigerian power system is if we're able to put in that money for them to fix it. So I, 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 I'm, I'm quite worried of it. But we are, it's, it's the same mentality of no, no, me, no. myself, and I. I no. want to fix my own, get my own solar. Yeah. The money that they need, they are already collecting from the band A. But they have they are not collecting. No, they never. They are not paying. They are not paying. You are the only yeah, one paying. complaining. Yeah? Everybody's paying. But you pay the fee. Every is cheaper than I know. It's paying. You pay the Wait, seven million naira. Somebody who say he has not paid his own seven million naira. He doesn't yeah. have a choice. We pay the money. But that's not the crux of the money that they need. Mm. They have government parastatas that are owing exactly. in billions. billions. They should collect that one. Yes. Let government Our people is nothing. pay for their power. Exactly. You will see that these people will have infrastructure while they now focus on cost-reflective mm -hmm. tariffs. Mm -hmm. We will pay as Nigerians. Here, here exactly. we are going. We are no, pointing no. fingers. We are doing like this. Ah, when, never, no, we are doing like this. Doing when like is pointing back at all. Like like no, 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 we are here. We are leaders. We are pointing at the leaders. Go and pay us. But you see, we also have a role. So there's another point. There are people who are paying. There's another point where it might not look selfish. So let me explain. Okay, we have a big bowl of rice. I like, look, let me use today's example is rice. rice. <laughs> we have a big bowl of rice mm -hmm. for the old table. Mm -hmm. If we are all taken from that bowl, definitely we are all dependent on that bowl. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if I myself, I could get a cup from another source, mm -hmm. I've of sorted rice. myself of rice, that means it's easier to manage the bowl for all four of you. Yes. That's and remember that Nigeria's population is increasing. Mm -hmm. So as they are fixing the power problem and increasing your generation, is it in the same ratio with the amount of new people, people coming on, on that? So for mm -hmm. us to even go off, we are relieving the stress Thank you. on the national grid. This man went to school. So that that national grid can now serve others that are not yet, maybe they are not yet financially yes, ready to do it. it. Yes. Or like the use case I mentioned, mm -hmm. you have 25 floors of building. Your total roof is no more than this old studio. How mm. much solar panel? Our office could do that because most of our offices have a lot of large you see, those spaces. cups you are, those small sort of cups you are taking, that's the money they need to fix. No, that, that's no, 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 that's no, the no, 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 they pay it to they bring back the so we, have, we have to wrap up electricity. Think, so thank you very much because I mean you obviously, you obviously enlightened us to the options of renewing new energy. Yeah. We need to talk about hydropower, you know, there's yes. that. We, we have Kenji Dam. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, those, those are other options that are renewable. Okay. Are you looking at that area? Mm -hmm. what, what, how sustainable is that also? Mm -hmm. I know they've tried to do it sometime in the past. Yes. But so we've been using hydro in Nigeria for, if you, like yeah. mentioned yeah. Kenji Dam, but hydro is heavily dependent on the level of the water, water. and the likes. Mm -hmm. Global warming is coming. Mm -hmm. So some rivers are Dry not as, uh -huh, they don't have enough. So that depends, and we are not yet using nuclear in Nigeria. So depending on hydro is a little fishy dicey. for now. It's dicey, yes. Okay, well, thank you very much. I think that's all that is. Now we have information. So those of us on Bande, please. Pay your bill. Yes, pay your. yes, yes. <laughs> me, I would, me, 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 I'm a patriot. Pay your I'm a patriot. I believe and that. Pay. Because I mean, the reason why I'm pay. a patriot and if the government gives me a bill, I, we yeah. close our eyes and yes. pay that, that, that bill. You paid. I'm proud of I'm not complaining. I'm just saying I'm that. Proud of I, I, we paid it now. Yeah. So this month now, our bill was, was 500,000 naira in April. Yeah. Wow. I was, we were crying. Yes. Yeah.
But then, you can't do the 230,000 now. We stop using air conditioners. Mm -hmm. We stop wow. using washing machine. Mm -hmm. We stop the mm -hmm. ironing. Yeah. You know, we don't okay. use the microwave anyhow anymore. Okay. We are okay. reducing. In fact, I got that. I bought Wara. Recently, <laughs> usually by Wara. Right? So the cheese, yes, okay. Usually, I grill it, right? Mm -hmm. So my help said, okay, can we grill? I said, don't open, don't turn on that oven. <laughs> <laughs> can you dare not? You know, I said, we'll fry this. You know, I can't eat fried food. But yeah. I, I'm not thinking, how do I, I can't put it in air fryer. Money. I can't put it in oven. Put Money. it in fry pan. Fry pan. Dry one. Don't put oil. Don't fry it. Yeah, it's it's right. yes. So just, I mean, just well, there are solutions. There are solutions for like what you said now. What people are doing now, we've had conversations with estates. Mm. As an entire estate come together and say that, okay, we we still in store for individuals. But well, that drives down their costs because they are buying in bulk. Yeah. Saying that this entire street. Yeah, pass your card. Pass your card. <laughs> pass your card. Yeah, you can let your card. Yeah, we'll we'll so it's, All right. It's that's all we can take. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.